Karibi ya miezi miwili sasa imepita tokea alipopata kuuawa bloga ama mwanabari kutokea katika kaunti ya Meru Sniper akitambulikana na wengi kama Sniper jina lake kamili likiwa ni Mudhiaine Ileo maafisa wa DCI wameweza kutoa taarifa kuhusiana na upelelezi na uchunguzi ambao umekuwa ukiendelea Kumbuka jina lake gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kawira Mwangaza pamoja na familia yake ikiwemo mwanawe na nduguye wametajwa katika sakata ya mauaji yale aliyopelekea kuuawa na mwili wake sniper kuweza kutupwa ukiwa umefanyiwa madhambi kulingana na maafisa wa DCI kupitia ukurasa wao wa kijamii wa X ukipenda Twitter wameweza kuchapisha yale ambayo yamekuwa yakiendelea sawa kwa sasa mpaka mahali ambapo uchunguzi umepata kufikia Nitaweza kusoma the update from the DCI Kenya. Wanasema hivi. Updates, investigations into the murder of Daniel Mudiaine Bernard Alaya Sniper. The team of DCI homicide detectives which has been conducting investigations into the gruesome murder of Daniel Mudiaine aka Sniper that occurred on December 2nd, 2023 has recommended murder charges on several suspects who have so far been found culpable even as probe continues on other suspects implicated in the case painstaking investigations that have involved a thorough scrutiny of forensic evidence and data analysis since the taking over of the case on december 19th placed vincent moray the alias supo at the core of the probe a right from lowering the renowned TikToker to his death trap to the recovery of the body in Chiakariga, Larakanye, the county. Four other suspects, including a police officer and a local DJ whose involvement in the Ineas murder was forensically proven from the point of abduction in Meru to Motonga River where the deceased body was recovered are all said to be arrayed for the murder. While the High Court in Kembu has already given directions for the mental assessment of Vincent Moraidi and Kenneth Murangeri Guantai, the AP or uh, the AP officer, ahead of their plea taking on January 29th, 2024. The remaining three suspects, Bonfis Kidenji Jihia, alias DJ Kaboom, Brian Mwenda, alias Brayo, and Chris Tantas, Chris Christians Manyara Kiambi who are already in police custody after custodial orders were granted by the Kibera Chief Magistrate Court will be arraigned on the same day meanwhile further investigations are ongoing with more arrest expected as the directorate strives to bring to book any more culprits that may have been involved in the murder Nikisambacho kiliwacha wengi wakiongea na kugadhabishwa aswa na mauaji ya kijana huyu mchanga maana inaminika kijana huyu makosa aliyofanya makuu ni kuweza kuongea na kuweza kuilaumu na ku aswa kuongea na kupinga uongozi wa gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kawera Mwangaza ambao ali, aliuona kama uongozi ambao haufai maana Kawera Mwangaza alitumia ofisi yake kuweza kuongoza kwa kifua right now uchunguzi umeweza kuwaweka eh, watu watano ndani ambao aswa wanasemekana ndio walikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuweza kumuua na kupanga mauaji yake sniper akiwemo katikati ya wote wale ni supu ambaye ndiye mshukiwa mkuu wa kuweza aliyemweza kumpigia sniper simu na kumuita sehemu ambayo aliweza kuokamatwa na kuweza kupelekwa kuuawa kule eneo la Mutonga River. And kulingana na wa Kenya aswa kupitia mtandao wa kijamii wa Twitter wameweza kutoa maoni yao baada ya chapisho hili la DCI nikiweza kusoma machache ambayo wanayasema. Bravin Yuri anasema may justice for sniper be served. Kachwanya anasema thanks for the update. Mm, na muona pale Ian Mwangi anasema this is a good piece but the only thing I'm worried about is the sentencing. Will the accused be given light sentences given the nature and premeditated murder of sniper? Eh hey, African teacher anasema comedable. Uh, Mr. Ken Kenyada anasema 
let's take the that fake bishop too she is the finance huyu anamaanisha kawera mwangasa hilari a court wanasema what was the motive for murder ken anasema justice b our shield and defender the injustice must be dealt with legally and unswervingly tennis omwenga osoro anasema if any height high ranking kenyans are also involved kali seek custody orders to detain them for the same days so that we apply same punishment regardless of status in society watu wengi wanasema kwamba kama mwakamata hawa na hawa walitumika tu katika mawaji ambaye alikuwa mshukiwa mkuu na ambaye aliwasukumawa kuweza kufanya kitendo kile gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kawera Mongaza mbona yupo huru ndio maswali ambayo wengi wanajiuliza pale katika mtandao wa kijamii wa Twitter baada ya chapisho hili kuhusiana na mauaji ya sniper tunaendelea kukujuza tunaendelea kufanya upelelezi ya swani kipi ambazo ambacho kinaendelea kujiri kuhusiana na mauaji ya sniper kumbuka maswali yanaulizwa na mengi yanaendelea kujibiwa maafisa wa DCI zaidi ya maafisa hamsini uh, uh, ama thelathini waliweza kufika kaunti ya Meru mwezi wa Disemba kwa ajili ya uchunguzi ya kile ambacho kiliweza kufanyika juu ya maisha yake sniper tunategemea kupata update kila kukicha kuhusiana haswa na mahali ambapo uchunguzi umefikia nyayo kwa sasa usibanduke kama uje subscribe usisahau ni FM show KE mimi niite FK Munda